A warm welcome to all our viewers. Today to our series Natural Medicine. The teeth are our topic today, and it's a very important one. And the teeth are connected to the organs and can, of course, indicate problems. But who doesn't know? One or the other may have had it before, a dental root treatment, when you think afterwards everything is fine, no more pain, and yet foci can hide behind it, which can then cause restrictions in our body, in our vitality and performance. Today, my guest, a health analyst from Mallorca, is unfortunately not here, but connected. It is Pia, and he has a really great health center in Mallorca. And we'll talk about his experiences. Hello, Pia. Hello, good morning. Fine, especially when it comes to teeth. What important connections or experiences are there for you? First of all, if you look at the whole body, everything always has interactions. If I take the palms of my hands, I have interactions and acupuncture points that affect all organs. The same goes for the soles of the feet, the same goes for the ears, it's also said about the nose, by the way. It's very important, it definitely applies to the teeth. And every tooth has an interaction with an organ. When I'm in front, for example, on the front teeth, if it's the kidney and bladder. For the right cuspid, it's the liver and the gallbladder. The first molars are towards the lungs and colon. It goes all the way back to the small intestine. Everything is connected. If I have a problem somewhere there, it can also have an effect on certain organs. And today we have good dental hygiene. I think it used to be a huge problem. I believe that in the past more people died earlier due to poor dental hygiene and corresponding infections. I think nowadays the dental hygiene and also basically the art of the dentistry is one of the best we have. You can't rate that highly enough. I want to add a little criticism here, here though. An unbelievable number of dentists, and they probably won't like what I'll say, are still fans of fluoride. You just have to look at the toxicity of fluorides and consider if you want to buy a toothpaste with fluorides or if you take mouthwash with fluoride, you know exactly what fluorine and fluoride are deposited in the pineal gland and lead to major inflammation and damage there. Maybe you can give an incentive to change that. I saw a lecture from a dentist who wanted to do a fluoride-free practice, but only had it for a short time because she got so many problems. So it really seems like there are connections in this subject. Not only is fluoride a problem, but unfortunately I still have dentists who use amalgam fillings for children without hesitation. That is certainly also a factor that we should address. If I'm correctly informed, it is a fact that normal German health insurance companies often don't pay for ceramic fillings, but still for amalgam fillings. You have to ask yourself, that can be, you just have to look at the international study situation on the subject. Then there's a specialist called Dr. Mutter. They should listen to a lecture about it. Yes, he often visits us too. Then you can see what outgassing takes place when I work on amalgam teeth with a toothbrush. And in the past, many dentists also poisoned themselves by exchanging all the amalgam fillings without hesitation. Today we know that that much better. Face masks are used, but those that really work... Not the ones that we are currently using. I think a lot has changed for the better. There are a few marginal aspects that could still be improved. Let's just put it carefully. Especially when it comes to teeth, I think the topic is very exciting because it happened to me when I went to a naturopath for a full body checkup, and then this device that he was using there indicated that a tooth is an interference field in my body which I do not even perceive as an interference field. This is a root-treated tooth. It is as quiet as a mouse. It's completely fine, but apparently there's a focus after all. That weakens me in some way. What could that, could that be? Or how can I go ahead and say, OK, I'll take care of that. I don't really want to take the tooth out either, because everything is OK so far. I can share a few examples from my environment, or my extended environment. 
I know a man who has pulmonary fibrosis, inflammatory pulmonary fibrosis. And classical medicine has no answers as to what triggers it. There are only guesses. We really figured out that the man had pulmonary fibrosis triggered by an interference field in a tooth. And these interference fields were bacteria. And these bacteria contaminated this man from the inside out. We did the following, and I've also prepared a video, which fits very well at the moment. Maybe you can show it now. Yes, let's take a look. In cooperation with the dentist, we, we then use this handheld probe, which transmits pure energy, which can also ensure that a fever is produced inside the cells by activating the mitochondria, which can neutralize bacteria, germs, pathogens and so on. Basically, we support nature by providing energy to generate a fever. I just want to say this much. Three years ago, the man was given a life expectancy of six months. And today, he still works on a 12,000 square metre villa every day. But of course, a dentist specialist was there and he knew about these things. And he also had the technology to deal with this topic. And we provide the support by supporting nature with the cell tuner, with the hand probe and bringing in appropriate energies there. Another case was brought to me by one of the greatest cancer analysts in the world. He, he also has written giant books about it. And he told the following case. He was in an alternative cancer clinic in New Mexico. A lot of those alternative cancer clinics are in New Mexico because these methods may be used there or in Mexico. They're not forbidden there. And in the first week he was there, he saw a young man who came in a wheelchair. It was a cancer clinic, cancer, and it really didn't look good. And he was maybe 30 or 30, 35 years old. And after a week or 10 days, he saw him again, but no longer in a wheelchair. But he walked around. Then he went up to him and said, I saw you arrive and I got the impression that your health has improved by several hundred percent. What did they do with you or what did they find? Then he said, they removed three of my teeth. So you don't believe how incredibly strong poisoning can be via bacteria, which comes from interference fields from teeth. And another example, I still have a lot uh, concerns. If you have a root canal treatment or teeth have been extracted and maybe there's a gap, usually it becomes overgrown without any bacteria or anything like that being able to settle there. But if you're unlucky, and I think you can't even blame the dentist there, it's easy, it can happen. Nobody can blame anyone because it's in the microorganism area. The bacteria settle there. Now, the bacteria can secrete toxins over many years, but do not lead to inflammation there. So there's no pain, no swelling, nothing. And you have to know that. I'm working with someone and I don't know that. If I know it's there, I can do something. But I don't find it myself. I, I don't have the capacity, the equipment or the expertise. But I'm working with a naturopath who can find this out. And he's refined his method over 20 years. He's an absolute professional in the sector. And he says he can measure the resistance of 30,000 viruses, foreign substances, bacteria. It's, it's software for it. He can measure the resistance. And he can measure exactly where to find a virus or bacterium or something. And with me, for example, a wisdom tooth was extracted from me. Most of the time, it's the last, so at the very back. And then he does the following. He says, knock there a little and push the area from below so that the blood circulation is increased. These viruses and bacteria then also show up via the increase in blood flow. And they can then be measured. So he knows a lot of tricks and he found so many different things in me. There were chlamydia back there. The devil knows where I caught them. Or in another area, well, teeth are predestined for him to find out something like that. But he also finds it in other areas. For example, he found me with a virus from a flu virus from 1975. And in 1975, this flu virus caused me to get migraines. And we've now found out through his measurements 
So he can do that anywhere, but quite often it's about interference fields in teeth. I know someone who found a rabbit plague virus in the tooth. This rabbit plague virus then causes tremors. You can't even imagine how complex it all is. And after the measurements, he can, uh, so to speak, neutralize that, generate and produce an antidote. And then you take that in a completely homeopathic dose and can then eliminate those interference fields that lie deep inside a jaw or somewhere. And I think teeth play an absolutely paramount role here. What I've now heard several times, and I'm also very impressed that there are now dentists who say, we can treat your teeth, root canal treatment, or especially if you have implants and that kind of thing done. But I want you to prove to me that your vitamin D level in your blood is 70 nanograms. Before that, I don't do anything. And of course, I think that's really great. Because from my experience with people, that really had a good level. They had an incredible regeneration and also rebuilding of bone. So the jawbone that has receded has really regenerated so much faster in one or two examples due to the buildup of vitamin D that a doctor said strange. Normally, we would have to make a bone structure an artificial one. I've never seen it like this before, so this confirms what you always say. Our body is able to regenerate again and again. And when you then achieve these successes with precisely such tools, then it's this win-win situation that intertwines. Another ingenious tool is this technology, which we saw briefly in the video beforehand. I know a few examples. It's a very personal experience that I've had. There was a woman who is a regular customer, and she was supposed to have jawbone surgery. Reconstruction that was imminent. And the surgeon or dentist said to her, she shouldn't expect that she could socialize for the next week because of this and this and that. And this, this nice lady was with me the day before the operation. And then I said that she should come to me immediately after the operation. And then we irradiated the jaw with this handheld probe for about 30, 45 minutes. And again, the next day and the following day, there was maybe a millimetre or two of swelling and a small bruise, nothing else. And I've made many experiences like this. I had a young Spaniard, well, young, around 35. They, they pulled three wisdom teeth from him, then someone with a very difficult molar operation. A third was a Russian businessman with a wisdom tooth again. And for all of them, the feedback from the doctors was similar. One of them then said that this was a healing process of one in a hundred. Another said he had never experienced a healing process like this before. And what's the secret behind it? The secret behind it is basically via this handheld probe. Information frequencies are brought in the body, in the cells, and we have antennas to pick up these information frequencies. This portfolio of these frequencies and energy pulses leads to optimal flow rates especially optimal blood flow rates. That means nothing else than having the optimal oxygen supply for wound healing. Another aspect is the mitochondria, which have to provide the energy for wound healing, are increased in amplitude by in-phase frequencies, so they have more natural oscillation, have more energy of their own, they can do a better job. Good blood flow rates also improve the body's own repellent, so that germs, pathogens, viruses and so on are transported better, which is H2O2. If I have H2O there to kill viruses, bacteria and so on, I also have a neurotransmitter, which also asks the immune system to provide assistance here. H2O2, is this hydrogen peroxide? Hydrogen peroxide. The body produces this itself when I have a fresh wound in order to kill and neutralize bacteria, viruses and so on. Of course, it gets there better because all the systems work better. I still think that's a miracle with hydrogen peroxide because you really know it from childhood as an old home remedy. It is really awesome. Well, I always love to reintegrate 
these old remedies into the family. But that the body can do it itself is even more phenomenal. You have to say that this H2O2 is really a miracle cure. In the past, you try and cancer problems were partially solved by injecting it into the tumours. And that has a background. Namely, cancer or tumor cells convert from normal oxygen metabolism to fermentation. They can only burn sugar, no more fat, but they have a fermentation process because oxygen no longer gets through the cell membrane, which has a low electrical cell membrane voltage. So I have oxygen there, but it doesn't get into the cell, so it can't be used. That's why I have a fermentation process there. If I take H2O2 now, which is produced by the body. Nature has added something to it, namely an enzyme called catalase. It's also an antioxidant, by the way. And this catalase has a peculiarity. When H2O2 comes close, the H2O2 splits into H2O, so water, and pure oxygen. So I'm optimizing the oxygen supply. Catalase was used for traumatic brain injuries because uh, the brain tissue has zero oxygen deficiency tolerance. And if the oxygen supply via the bloodstream is no longer enough, you had to solve it differently. So H2O2 was included in ointments. It got into the deeper layers of tissue where catalase is, and this splits it into H2O and pure oxygen. So it has improved the oxygen supply. And that's why the H2O2 is so important. But it is optimally delivered there thanks to optimal flow rates. If I, if I have another aspect to wound healing, how does the wound healing work? Well, wound healing works differently than normal processes in the body. Normally, I have the cell division, an old cell is replaced by the new one and so on. When it comes to wound healing, I have to go through a completely different process. That means I have to have a lot more stem cells in there to basically do the whole job. I need a lot of new cells at once. And then this is what happens. The cells that have already been specified are actually regressed into stem cells via electrical impulses from the nerve endings in the wound area, and they can then reproduce, can give the job anywhere, in order to form as many cells as possible as quickly as possible. And now, I suspect, because we have had so, such incredible results in this area with the cell tuner, I now suspect that the body, very significantly with these electrical impulses, that lead to gener generation of new stem cells, because otherwise these results are actually not justifiable in my opinion. Now, there is so much we don't yet know what our body can do by itself. We see it's a miracle, and I always find those statements difficult, like incurable, and it can never be regenerated. And when it comes to the subject of teeth, we have the major factor of tooth enamel. Or if, for example, you grind your teeth, those that have been grinding their teeth for years, their tooth necks then break open and it is always claimed here and there that it cannot no longer be regenerated. But now I already have one or two opinions that say it's not an issue at all, we'll get there. The tooth just needs the support again that it can regenerate and then the tooth enamel can be built up again. Do you have any experience with this? There's something really exciting. There's a guy called Wolfram Kunz. He's a naturopath, pharmacist and so on. And he does facial and dental analyses. He can basically immediately see at a glance how is the supply of minerals, how is the supply of minerals to the teeth. And there is a lot that can be done in combination with hexagonal water. And he works very prominently with Schussler salts, and he has excellent results in a very short time. It can then positively influence these problem areas, or gum recession, or things like that, through the right diagnosis on the one hand, and the right support. It's not about medication, but the right support of nature, and to optimize the mineral supply. In many cases, calcium is simply not stored. And that's exactly what I found outstanding when you combine that, the knowledge and then, especially with the cell tuner you work with. How does it work? Do people come to you and then use it just temporary, half an hour is enough, or how does it work? So you actually use it for water treatment, right? That is it, actually? It's the most outstanding water treatment there is, simply because I use it to produce stable hexagonal water and energetically clean the water, that's one point, and I also optimise the cell environment by simply making the body fluids hexagonal at the same time.
The people then come to me, use the device, and I guide them. Strictly speaking, they rent the device from me because it's very easy to use. There's no overdose, there's no problem. The only thing that, I, that can happen is that certain exposed areas get warm. But that only shows that repair processes take place in the body because the mitochondria then activates so much heat in the cells that one speaks of an artificial fever. Artificial fever naturally has an extremely optimizing effect for all healing processes, for all these things, and for neutralizing pathogens and germs. There are also many people, and I would actually want to recommend it to many, to buy the device and use it every day. I have three devices in my private environment, and all of them are used every day. Because we have to do prevention with what is brought to us from the outside. We have to maximize our immune system. We have to have a maximum energy charge. We have to have a, have a, a good cell environment. We have too many problem areas, but the, whether it's pollutant emissions, toxins, aluminium, glyphosate, pesticides, herbicides, whatever else there is, hydrocarbons, there are, there are so many things. We have a lot of radiation intensity, we have electric smog. We may have never-ending stress or worries. There are so many areas where I really have to create the optimization at the base and have to adjust to it as much as possible. My body can go down with anything. Uh, deal. Go down. Uh, it can go down with anything too, that's true. It can go down with anything, and many will go down now, unfortunately. Also economically, but there are again issues of fear, worries, weakened immune system, they belong together. A lot of stress hormones means bad immune system, a lot of stress hormones means poor stomach acid, means a problem there. A lot of stress means little energy in various areas that are not so important in this second. And you just have to be ready and position yourself in the best possible way. I need my mitochondria to function optimally, and this handheld probe also leads to the fact that through in-phase vibrations, I also optimize, add more energy there. So that's a multiple sphere of action, and I would simply say that, strictly speaking, every household should have such a device. And it's used to be, it used to be like that, the first high-frequency energy devices that existed, they were the first ones 100 years ago. Many don't know that. It was so common that in Germany alone there were over half a million devices, and that had exactly one reason. They worked. You can you can hardly believe that today. Half a million of these high-frequency energy devices were in German households. Incredible. Then there was an analysis that someone worked on in 1934. That was a, a Dr. George Lakowski, uh, an engineer. He also made such a device himself. It was called multi-wave oscillator. And he said at the time, in the introduction to his book from 1934, it says at the top right corner, that the apparatus was also successfully used in Italy, Spain, Sweden, Belgium, Holland, Uruguay. And now comes the decisive sentence. Everywhere the results have exceeded all hopes. What we now have with the cell tuner is all of the, these empirical values have been incorporated and considered, and it has been significantly further developed by brilliant Russian bioengineers, which also eliminated the negative side effects that still existed at that time, such as resonance with metal components, especially important with teeth. If, for example, I can't use such a device on my teeth because I have a dental implant with metal parts and I can't irradiate there, I haven't gained much, and that there are devices that cost 20 or 50,000 euros, some of which still have these disadvantages. They also resonate with metal and the tissue temperature reaches up to 200 degrees, so that's a catastrophe. And our bioengineers managed, even though we are transferring pure energy with 70 millivolt pulses via uh, the scalar carrier wave, they managed that. This portfolio of energy and information frequencies only resonates with water molecules. But it's also a giant quantum leap because 99% of all molecules in a human body are water molecules. If we optimize there, then we've actually addressed at least almost all of the problems. Great, cool. It was very informative and exciting again. Thank you, dear Pierre. Thank you very much. By the way, uh, you can also read about that. There are many reports and also an infinite number of testimonials, especially on the subject of teeth, from people who have reported back privately. But we don't take that for granted or generalize them. We don't make any healing statements or anything like that. We're not allowed to. It's only feedback from individual people. 
And there we have about 30 reviews only on the subject of teeth, from tooth pockets, tooth inflammation, toothache implants, what people have experienced. And if you read that, you have to say, breathtaking. And if you want to find out more about the device, where else can I do it? On the website, quantisana.ch. OK, great. That's exactly the point. That it is also important to us that we do not make blanket statements or any healing promises, but that is precisely these valuable experience reports that one or the other may just see and say, oh God, that's exactly what I have, amalgam or pulmonary fibrosis, and it was also said that it will be over us in six months. And now I can at least check if I can do something else. You just have to try everything that nature would do. Just support nature, because nature can regulate everything through self-regulation, self-healing processes. But, uh, but I have to put nature back in a position to do that and support it. Great. Thank you, dear Pierce. See you soon. Thanks. Bye. Just like I said, everyone should always get the part of information where they say, that makes sense to me. Get an idea, stay awake, and of course, question everything. That is the most important thing. And then I think we'll be fine in our lives again with the help of nature. I hope you could take something. And thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.